Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. Hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're ready for some Junk Wax era football cards. We'll be looking at the 10 most expensive that sold on eBay in the past week. Got a pretty awesome top 10 here for you, and got a nice set of bonus listings at the end as well. You definitely don't want to miss them, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Criteria for the list is up on the screen. Let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, getting us started in the 10th spot from 1993 Upper Deck. We have the Dan Marino Pro Bowl insert graded gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $199.95. No recent comp sales. It's a pop of only eight in the gem in slab. These Pro Bowl inserts are pretty nice looking inserts actually. And they were inserted one in 25 packs. So boxes of 1993 Upper Deck sell for around $15 to $30. For football in 93, there was only a single series. And you can find those boxes if you look in the description below. There's eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in the top 10, plus our previous videos. In the number 9 spot from 1994 Playoff Contenders, we have the Joe Montana and Dan Marino back to back insert. Graded at BGS Near Mint Mint Plus 8.5. This was a fixed price sale for $225. It's a pop of three in the 8.5 slab. There's seven graded higher with the highest being one Gem Mint 9.5. A raw version of this card sold for $175 in April 2022. So a few months ago. And the back-to-back -back inserts were inserted one in 24 packs. And boxes of 1994 playoff contenders sell for around 70 to 120 bucks. From 1993 Wild Card Super Chrome Rookies, we have Jerome Bettis' rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. And this card sold at auction for $232.19. It's a pop of only three in a gem mint slab. This is a first sale on record for PSA 10 on PSA's website. So these were a special Super Chrome Rookies box that you need to look for. So there's 93 Wild Card, 93 Wild Card Super Chrome, and there's actually 93 Wild Card Super Chrome Rookies boxes. It's a little bit confusing. However, in those 15 card packs, you got six of these Super Chrome Rookies cards, and it's a 50 card set. And then the re remainder of the pack was just 1993 Wild Card base cards. So those boxes sell for around 45 to 60 bucks. And these are pretty nice looking uh, rookie cards and low pops. There's a Michael Strahan rookie card as well in there. So I've added an eBay search result link for this one as well down below. In the number seven spot from 1988 top stickers, we have a Dixon and John Elway panel with a Ronnie Harmon back rated gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $250. So there's six different variations where, with for this John Elway where you have different uh, cards on the back. This is the first sale of any of those variations in a PSA 10. This one here is a pop of only one. Boxes of 1988 top stickers sell for around $15 to $20. In the number six spot from 1991 Proline Portraits, we have the Bill Belichick rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold as a fixed price for $325. It's a pop of 324 in a gem in slab. The record, these were selling up to 700, 800, up to I think the top sale was a thousand bucks last year, so they've come down quite a bit since then. Boxes sell for around 15 to 25 bucks, and you can pull autographs. Pretty much autographs, I think, of every base card in the whole set. And it's estimated that the autographs were inserted one in three boxes. In the number five spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Jerry Rice Refractor, graded a mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $368. It's a pop of only 60 in a mint slab, and there's only six higher graded gem mint PSA 10s. This exact card sold for $621 in December of 2021. So it came down quite a bit since then at 368 bucks here. The refractors averaged two per box and boxes of 1994 finest sell for around $150 to $220. 
In the number four spot from 1987 tops, we have a Herschel Walker rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. So it was a fixed price sale for $395 and one penny. It's a pop of 190 in a gem mint slab and boxes of 1987 tops sell for around 240 to 320 bucks. All right, let's see what we have in the top three. First up from 1990 action packed rookie update. We have a Shannon Sharp rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card was a fixed price sale for $500. This one's actually been going up in price. It's a pop of 58 in the gem mint slab. Uh, one sold earlier in July for 420 bucks and one sold for $400 in April. Boxes of these 1990 action pack rookie updates sell for around 60 to $70. In the number two spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have the Vince Lombardi Hologram numbered to 10,000, graded a near mint mid PSA 8, and it was a fixed price sale for $600. It's a pop of 63 in the PSA 8 slab, and there are 40 graded higher, with the highest being 39 mint 9s. Uh, speculation has it that one Lombardi card was inserted in every 10th case. That's a lot of 1990 Pro Set you'd have to rip to find one of these. But if you want to give it a shot, those boxes sell for around 15 to 25 bucks. And top of the list this week in the number one spot, we're going to go back to 1990 Action Pack Rookie Update. This time for the Emmett Smith Rookie Card. Graded the gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $850. It's a pop of 211 in a gem in slab. And this exact card actually sold for $632 in March of 2021. So it's gone up since then, so that's pretty good. And boxes, as mentioned, sell for around 60 to 70 bucks for the 1990 Action Pack Rookie Update. All right, that's it for the top 10. Time to take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Football Index. Here we can see this week, football is up. Up almost back to even for the week. We're at 99.1, which is good to see. Looks like everything was up this week. S&P 500, NASDAQ, Bitcoin all had positive weeks. So that's nice to see. So those 38 cards that make up the football index. Here's a list of them. And they span from 1987 to 1995. Got a pretty awesome list there. Lots of rookie cards in there as well from Hall of Famers. Here's our summary for the week. We had 11 cards increase in sales price. 19 had no change, and eight of the cards from the list had a decrease in the average sale price. Let's see how football stacking up to the other three major sports. So football definitely had the biggest change this week. Still on the top of the list. Baseball had a drop this week, but in the second spot still. Hockey two weeks in a row here that they've been going up, so that's good. And basketball is looking like it's uh, put in a bottom, which is nice. It's kind of been right around 74 for the last three weeks. All right, I compile all of these indexes and track all their values automatically using the Market Movers app. I find it a pretty useful tool. A lot of great features. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box below. Use the code JWI. In the first month of your subscription is only a buck. They've been making a lot of changes, a lot of upgrades. And so definitely check it out. There's three different tiers for membership, starting at Starter, which is only $9.99 a month. All right, time to take a look at some bonus cards. First up, from 1987 Tops, we have a Steve Young NFL Second Year card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $180.38. Nope, just $0.30. Cents. $180.30. It's a pop of 104 in the gem mint slab. One sold for $99 back in October 2021, but it's down from $400 huge sale in February of 2021. So a bit all over the place. From 1991 Bowman, we have Emmett Smith. Second year, this is a rookie superstar card graded gem in PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $179.99. That's the highest sale on record on PSA's website. The previous was $124 from February 2021. It's a pretty nice looking card. It's a pop of only 42 in the gem mint slab. From 1990 Action Packed All Madden, we have a Barry Sanders second year card graded gem mint PSA 10. This was a fixed price sale for $165. This set is famous obviously because it has the Emmett Smith rookie card in there and that's his lowest pop rookie card. One that I actually think is undervalued. 
This card here, second year Sanders, has a pop of only 28. One sold for $201 back in February of 22. So we're down a little bit from that. Maybe a buying opportunity. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. From 1995 Zenith, we have the John Alway Z Team graded a gem in PSA 10. So it's a fixed price sale for $165. This exact card actually sold for $56 back in March of 2021. That was a heck of a deal at 56 bucks, I think. These Z-Team inserts are pretty nice looking inserts and they were inserted one in 24 packs. And this card here, the Gem Mint Slab, is a pop of only seven. Wish I could have grabbed that back in March of last year for 56 bucks, but even at $165 is probably not too bad of a buy. From 1985 FLIR Team Action, we have a complete helmet and logo sticker set with all variations. Apparently, well, sorry, it's missing one variation. Apparently, I'll get to that in a second. Raw condition, sold by a fixed price for $179.99. So it's a 52 sticker set. You got 28 helmets, 20 logos, and then four of the five helmet variations. So apparently, according to seller, stickers are all beautiful near mint mint to near mint mint plus condition, uh, pack fresh. The helmet variations, there's a Colts one, which are large and small letters. There's a Browns, which is light and dark orange helmet Bengals with and without line through the circle and the Seahawks light and dark gray helmet. So the only missing variation is the Packers helmet without the outline in the ear hole. So if you're interested in these there you know, there's all the five variations as well so the 85 FLIR packs had one sticker per pack compared to apparently three per pack in all other years and the sticker was right next to the gum which is good because it doesn't mess up the cards however it does mess up the stickers so hard to find them in good condition the seller here says there's no gum issues on these going by the word hopefully these are in those near mint mint near mint mint plus condition from 1991 Florida State Collegiate Collections, we have a Burt Reynolds autograph card authenticated by PSA, and it was a fixed price sale for $401. This exact card actually sold in March of 2021 for $460, and it's a pop of only two as a PSA, PSA authentic and none graded higher. So there's none of these autograph ones that have a numerical grade for the card. Pretty neat, though. From 1989 Pro Set, we have a Sterling Sharp rookie card graded a gem in PSA 10. It was a fixed price sale for $89.99. It's a pop of only 137 in a gem mint slab. One sold back in December for $50, so maybe going up a little bit since last year. So apparently Sterling Sharp is on the list of semi-finalists for enshrinement into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2023. I'm not sure if he makes it, but he's on the list of semifinalists. He only played seven seasons before his career was cut short due to a neck injury. But during that time, the only player really with better stats was Jerry Rice. So definitely dominated with during his uh, playing days. So we'll see what happens. His little brother, Shannon Sharp, who was in the top 10 of our list this week, is a pro football Hall of Famer. An interesting tidbit here, he said during his acceptance speech, I'm the only pro football player that's in the Hall of Fame that can say he's the second best player in his own family. So for those huge football fans out there, what do you think? Does Sterling Sharp have a chance of getting into the Hall of Fame? Did only playing seven seasons, is that going to keep him out because his career was cut so short? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. From 1994 Ultra, we have the Jerry Rice Flare Hot Numbers insert graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $127.50. There was a previous sale in November of 2021 for $91 in one of these. It's a pop of only 20 in a gem mint slab. So there was no Flare product for football in 94. So they inserted these into the Ultra Packs. So you still get the awesome insert they had in the other sports. From 1994 Upper Deck SP, we have a Marshall Falk die cut rookie card graded in mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $42. Seems like a pretty low price for one of these. It's a pop of 118 in a mint slab, and there's only 39 higher graded gem in PSA 10s. 
So one of these sold for $104 back in January, which is, I think, kind of where they've been selling that, you know, around the $100 mark. The die cut parallels were inserted one per pack of 1994 Upper Deck SP. And we're going to finish it up with a two set lot here. There's 1988 tops. You get two sealed factory sets. So for 115 bucks, I think that was a pretty good deal. Obviously, fairly loaded. You got uh, a lot of awesome Hall of Famers and stars, and you got the Bo Jackson rookie card in there as well. So 115 bucks for two sets, I think it was a pretty good buy. Especially when you consider that the wax boxes themselves sell for 100 to 120 bucks. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay Partner Network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. Pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app. And you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.